Baikon, I understand you're taking uh, the, what Adweek calls those comically violent ads to television. Are you looking for a new audience now? Well, we're looking to reach our existing audience and, and deepen the story that we've already told them, which is about the, the frustrating, inconvenient uh, experience of buying razors in the store. And yeah, of course, to, to reach new markets is a great way to build our brand. I, I noticed that you do not have a mustache. Are you seeing a drop off in sales and subscriptions for November? No, no, sales are going uh, really strong. We're, we're growing about 10% a month. Um, I just can't really grow a, a, a manly, burly mustache. It's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we know that in general, if you track the industry, looking at Nielsen data, which actually measures brick and mortar stores, razor sales and blazer, blades and razors have been declining. How much share are you and other upstarts online like Harry's taking from the big guys, the Gillettes, the Energizer, Schicks and others? Sure. So we're doing about 90 million in annualized sales right now, and we're shipping 44 million cartridges uh, to our 1.1 million members. So a member for us is somebody that gets a package from us every month or every other month. So uh, we figure that to be about 10 percent of the U.S. men's cartridge market on a volume basis. I thought beards were in. Facial hair is sexy. This is supposed to be the trend. This is what the big guys are saying of why they're hurting. Uh, look, I mean, you can't deny the beard trend. It's out there. People are growing beards, but it's it's cyclical, and um, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's not hurting our business. How do you get away with selling five cartridges for one dollar? Can you really get a close shave? Are they quality cartridges, twenty cents a piece? Yeah, you can, and our, our members are loving this, and, and we've, we've proven that. They love changing their blade every week and getting a fresh, a fresh blade shave, and it's, it's quite an addictive experience, and, and once, you, once you try it, you don't really go back to the way you used to do things. You talked a little bit about revenue growth, user growth. Are you profitable, Michael? We don't discuss profitability, but like I said, user growth is growing really, really quickly, um, and, and you know, you know 50,000 people a month refer a friend to the club. What, what's the long-term plan? So we are see you, a really are you looking huge... at IPO, potentially? It's a little too soon to talk about that <laughs> stuff, but, but we see a really big opportunity in the men's grooming and skincare space. Our mission is really to help guys take care of themselves, and uh, you know that, that means what you put on your face, on your hair, on your body. Uh, we think there's a huge opportunity there because guys are just as frustrated with buying those products as they are with buying razors.